And I'm going to say that Ghana slash Ghanaian should learn from Nigeria in terms of system. I want to use this opportunity to commend all entrepreneurs in Ghana and equally say that Ghana needs to get more in order to grow the economy. Ghanaians should learn from Nigerian, just like Nigerians should learn from Ghanaians. Hello, this is Jesse Preparepez. Hello, all the Jesse Shiga Shiga. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jesse. This is Jesse Preparepez. This is Jesse Shiga Shiga as always. So today, guys, as I said before, I am back in bringing back to back content, and I'm sure, I'm super sure, you are going to enjoy this move, 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 this move. Yeah, so guys, I want to say thank you, thank you, to, thank you to all my subscribers because we are. 5,000 strong and honestly my biggest dream is to get to 10k before the end of 2022 and I'm sure you guys are going to make it happen for me and for us so guys today I decided to step in here to drop this Obunga video which I am pretty sure you are going to enjoy sorry I'm trying to speak louder because of my voice so today I'm going to be talking about um, possible things that Ghana slash Ghanaians can learn from Nigeria. I know in the past I made a video what Nigeria should learn from Ghana. So today I feel like making the other part to complete it what Ghana can equally learn from Nigeria. From my research, I learned that Nigeria and diaspora are the largest investors in Nigeria. It is estimated to be about $25 billion as remnants yearly for the past 15 years and counting. For me, I'm going to say that this video is going to be educative in a good light. As we all know, humans are insatisfiable and we keep on pushing. And I'm going to proceed by saying that Nigeria or Nigerians are blessed with a lot of can-do spirits. And that is why we are often seen as thriving in any part of the world where our feet step in. As someone who has been into business, as someone who is a content creator, as someone who grew up in a business environment, I am going to say that it takes more than knowing how to sell a product or services to make a successful entrepreneur. From my experience, I know that business needs to be viable in order to be successful entrepreneur. And I'm going to say that we Nigerians have a particular skill if it is acquired or if it comes naturally to us that makes us stand out as entrepreneurs. Not just entrepreneurs, but successful entrepreneurs. There was actually an awakening that started in late 2000 about the world becoming a global stage for all, but to the current globalization of African music experience that we are all currently experiencing as well as enjoying presently in Africa and the world at large. Nigerian entrepreneurs are unique. In Ghana, you are going to find lots of noble professions like pilots, teachers, nurses, pharmacists, to mention but a few. In Nigeria, despite the degrees they have acquired over time, the first degree, the master's, the PhD degree, they will always find a side hustle why they pursue their career full time. But a Ghanaian would prefer to get their degree and other certification and then go back and relax. But in Nigeria, we never settle till he or she finds something to do aside his or her profession. In Nigeria, there is a typical saying that no dulling at all with Nigerians. And I'm going to say that let us learn from each other. Ghanaians should learn from Nigerian, just like Nigerians should learn from Ghanaians. And everyone else, as everyone else has something to offer. This video is actually important as we can't afford to put all our eggs in a basket. And for this reason, I'm going to say these are certain things that Ghana and Ghanaians need to learn. Ghanaians, to the best of my knowledge, do not believe, don't believe in networking, but embrace individualism. Individual success, individual work, everything is centered on self. And I'm going to say that Ghana slash Ghanaians should learn from Nigeria in terms of system why Nigeria should learn from Ghana in terms of politics. There's actually a lot of investment that has been recorded in Ghana. But the question is, what is Ghana slash Ghana doing in order to build control? The Chinese, the Americans, and also Europeans are there in Ghana. I want to use this opportunity to commend all entrepreneurs in Ghana 
and equally say that Ghana needs to get more in order to grow the economy. It is no longer news that Nigeria has a population of over 230 million people. As a Nigerian living in Nigeria currently, I'm going to say that Nigeria is a survivor of the fittest. In every hook and cranny of Nigeria, someone is running a business, whether it's a roadside business, whether it is a restaurant business, whether it's just a table business, but you see that something is actually going on. In Nigeria, you are going to find, find out that in a particular um, street or market, everyone is selling similar products. But one thing particularly stands out. Each of these people finds something unique to do, something special. People always find a way to make it different from the other product. In Ghana, once Mama John starts a business, Mama Ene will want to start. Mama Simon will want to start. Mama Mark will want to start. And there is no uniqueness in each of the business are all run in the same pattern. Of a truth, we are seen globally as pushy and forceful, especially when a Nigerian needs to sell its or her products slash services. With the way a Nigerian will persuade you, convince you, market the product, you are going to buy it even when you do not have a need for that particular item. Permit me to say, and I hope you don't take this personal, that Ghana is a little bit laid back and they are equally calm with the way they sell and promote their, their business. You are going to call a Ghana artist 10 times before he or she could respond to know why you are actually calling. But put a call across to a Nigerian, oh, um, guy, guy, I won't see you, show now, 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 I get to work for you. You are going to see a Nigerian leave every other thing they are doing and run to, to secure that particular um, business. They will equally come to figure out or know why you are calling them. Just call them once. You are going to see them at your location immediately. I know that both Ghanaians and Nigerians are very relig religious. A Ghanaian can lock up his or her shop and go to church to pray for success, to pray for God's blessing. But the question is, how will God bless you when you are not at the business? The people who are going to patronize you will certainly come to your shop, will certainly come to your office to buy from you. What happens when they come and you are nowhere to be found? How will the deal be achieved? But in Nigeria, the moment he or she opens their shop, by latest 8, 8.30, there will be at that shop till 5, 5.30 till the last person who is buying leaves. I'm equally going to say Nigerians have a strong support system. We always support our own. In Nigeria, we always want to buy from you the moment they identify you as a fellow Nigerian. We Nigerians do not know what it is to give up. We will always push till we succeed. Whatever we put our mind to do, we know it is 100 times achievable. An attitude of entrepreneur is to be forceful, diligent, and patient. But I'm sorry to say that Ghanaians or most Ghanaians do not have such spirits. If a business is not working, they will simply close it up and find something else to do. This is all I brought on this um, video and I decided to share and please do not take this video personal. It is something I have observed and I decided to make, create this content so that Nigerians will learn from Ghana in terms of politics, while Ghanaian learn from Nigeria in terms of business. Thank you so much for watching. If you stay to this point and you like this beautiful face you're seeing on the screen, please give me a beautiful thumbs up. Please leave a comment and then subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Jesse, the preparing thing.